now that we've covered our numeric types and our um, operations with numbers and stuff like that we can jump right into strings now a string is a string of characters um, it's Unicode uh, it's immutable means we can't change it once it's created and it's in a sequence so we have to access um, characters or numbers or whatever is included in the string by its index and we've seen this before in the previous tutorial so in this tutorial we're going to dig a little deeper and look at different ways to create strings and the difference between each way of creating a string so let's go ahead and create a string and our first one is going to be a single quote so single quote this is a string all right so simple that is a string it's an immutable sequence of characters all right another way to create a string is double quotes this is a string all right boom created another string pretty cool another way to create a string is triple single quotes this is a string single triple quotes another way is triple double quotes this is a string all right so that's how we create a string in single and triple quotes now let's look at the difference here um, between these two up here the single and the double quotes and then the triple and triple double quotes all right so single quote this is up you can't hit enter here because this has to be on a single line a single quote has to be on a sing single line so we get a syntax error all right so let me do it with with uh, triple single quotes this time and we'll say this is whoops this is and then I can hit return a string in Python all right and I'm gonna end it with single triple quotes boom now you notice there's a backslash n, backslash n, backslash n, backslash n, n. That means new line because when I wrote this out, I hit enter and it created new lines. So the purpose of the single triple quote and the single double quote is multiple line um, strings. Now we use them quite often in the interpreter if you need multiple lines of string or um, most often they're used in a Python program where they are commenting um, they're used as comments so I'm gonna pause the video real quick I'm gonna pull up a file and show it to you real quick alright so this is a uh, file in Python I actually believe it has something to do with the Django but anyway um, here is a triple double quote and it's used as a comment within this function here so basically the author or the programmer who wrote this program used it to comment out and explain what's going on now this is a single comment here and this is uh, a multiple line comment so you can see that they use triple quotes there now um, that's when it's most used, often used so when you're writing strings unless you gotta get multiple lines in the interpreter then you're probably gonna use a single quote or double quote versus the triple single or triple double which are most often used as comments in files all right so another thing to look at <clears throat> let me clear all this junk off our screen here if we start a string a single com uh, quote I'm sure sorry and do this is a string and we end it with a double uh, quote at the end we're gonna get an error and it's gonna syntax error it basically says we can't do this and the reason for that is because if you start a string with a single quote, you got to end it with a single quote. All right. Um, so keep that in mind when you're creating strings. Now let's look at another uh, something that you want to think about when you're writing a string. Uh, one is if we're using apostrophes in a word. So let's take a look at some examples. We write it like that because if we, I'm going to show it to you in a second here. Um, if we do it like this, let's take a look at some examples. We're going to get an error. So if we start with a single quote, and then you notice we got a quote here and a quote here, we're going to have a problem. And it says syntax error, invalid syntax. Well, the reason is 
the string starts there, string starts here, and then right here, it's like, hey, this is another string, but it doesn't have a starting quote, so it kicks back an invalid syntax. Now, <clears throat> a way around that is using a um, backslash, and it's an escape character, so we could do let's, and then backslash, apostrophe s, take a look at some examples. All right, hit return, and now it works. All right, because we basically escaped those characters. Um, what else do we have on here to talk about? Uh, another thing I want to talk about. We'll go back to triple single quotes and double quotes. So if we have a triple single quote line, and we say this is a string in Python. And we'll close out our single quotes. Hit return, and we have that backslash n backslash n, which says new line. Well, what happens if you want to print it out without the backslash n backslash n? Well, we can do that. So let's do a is equal to. Uh, no, actually, let's just do it this way. Let's just do print, and we'll do this. Oops, this is. Well, I screwed that one up. So print triple quotes. This is a string. And then hit return in Python. It goes very long. And close out our triple quotes. Close out our uh, parentheses around our print statement. Hit return. And you notice this time we're returned a string without the backslash n. So that is how you want to print when you're using triple single quotes or triple double quotes that spans multiple lines. So you don't get the um, backslash n, which creates a new line. Um, and that's called raw data. This is a raw data here. The backslash n is raw data. So any other questions about um, strings, please let us know on our form at mastercode.online. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial where we continue talking about strings. Have a nice day.